How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. And head over to Twitch and follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week whether it be for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, Halo, or anything else you guys suggest for me to do over there. And uh, I thought, you know, with Phase 4 kind of starting up with Black Widow and um, Shang-Chi, The Eternals, uh, and Spider-Man 3 coming out here in 2021, I thought it'd be cool to do a little trip um, back in time and talk about what I think are the best Marvel movies from Phases 1 through 3. Uh... Marvel movies being from the MCU, the Marvel Extended Universe, with like Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Black Panther, Spider-Man, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel, uh, <laughs> Doctor Strange, Vision, Quicksilver, uh, Wanda Maximoff, just so many characters that we have come to really enjoy and love in the past 13 years it's kind of crazy to think about that that in 2008 we got Iron Man and now here we are in 2021 it's been 13 years and we've gotten so many amazing blockbuster superhero movies it's really funny some people thought oh you're gonna end up getting Marvel fatigue you're gonna get superhero fatigue um not yet I haven't gotten it yet so um these are 10 movies that I think stand out among the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and I will go into briefly as to why I think these 10 movies are the best compared to the rest. I did not plan that. <laughs> um, so these are in no particular order so we're just going to start off the list of what I think are the 10 best Marvel Cinematic Universe movies from phases 1 through 3. If you guys want to know um, what I think of phases four and five when those are all done let me know in the comment section and I definitely will make a list video of that as well starting off at number one we have Iron Man 2 Iron Man 2 I thought was really cool we get to see the conflict between Iron Man and War Machine we finally get to see some War Machine action it introduces us a lot to more of S.H.I.E.L.D. We get introduced to Nick Fury besides just a post credit scene. We get to see Black Widow finally be introduced and she has some awesome kick-ass scenes. Uh, we get to see a little more of S.H.I.E.L.D. We get to see, um, uh, I just drew a mental blank. Hang on. Uh, we get to see Hammer and um, all of his drones and whatnot. And it just seems like it had a better understanding of what I wanted to do. Iron Man 1 I thought was okay, but Iron Man 2 really did a great job of building up the character and um, setting up elements for the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Number two, Captain America, the, the Winter Soldier. Um, I've always been a big fan of spy and espionage and trying to be you know, as an assassin, whether it be overpowered or it be sneaky. And I really enjoyed this movie a lot. We get to see Bucky Barnes return from the grave, basically. Um, we get a lot more information about Hydra and the fact that even though um, what Captain America did at the end of uh, the first Avenger to try to stop Hydra, Hydra still has been around and it's just been, you know, hiding in the shadows and waiting to strike. And I really enjoyed that for that. Uh, next, number three, the original, the Avengers. I mean, at the time of 2012, there was nothing like it. I mean, just having Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye all in the same movie, live action, with a gigantic budget. And we're not even talking about all the side characters that show up in the movie, like Nick Fury, uh... Loki, we get to see the Tesseract again, and hints and teases of Thanos eventually coming. It was just a spectacle for the time, and when you go back and you watch it, it still is a good movie. It doesn't hold up as well as I think a lot of people think it does, but at the time of it coming out, it still was amazing, and it paved the way for Age of Ultron, Infinity War, Civil War, and of course, Endgame. And without the original Avengers movie, 
the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I don't think it would be as popular as it is today. Number four, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It basically takes everything that we've gotten to expect from the first movie. It just amplifies it to 11. We get a lot more love interest between Gamora and Star-Lord. We get to learn a lot more about Star-Lord's um, past and how he basically is the son of a god planet. And so that really makes him like an overpowered alien, basically. Um, I also loved the conflicts between Nebula and Gamora and how, like, you know, yeah, we're assassins, we hate each other, but we also love each other because we're sisters, and I loved seeing the character development and growth, especially with those two characters. Number five, Ant-Man, and I thought it was really stupid at the time when it was coming out. I was like, oh, look, it's Iron Man, but instead of having repulsors and the ability to fly and being a super genius, he's just some comedic... Um, thief that goes around in a suit and he just makes himself shrink to the size of an ant not original i was really blown away paul rudd does an amazing job as ant-man and the jokes to me were great i really enjoyed it number six captain america civil war come on it's basically another mini avengers movie um, I really enjoyed it, though. We finally get to see Captain America and Iron Man go head-to-head. -head. It also brought in Black Panther and Spider-Man into the fray, which I thought was really cool as well. Number seven, Thor Ragnarok. Um, this is the only Thor movie that I actually really cared about. I thought Thor, the original Thor movie, was okay. I just really had a hard time connecting with Thor. I, the only character that I cared about in Thor was actually Loki. Everyone else I didn't care about. And Hawkeye shows up in the original Thor movie, which was like, okay, whatever. But, um, yeah, it didn't impress me. And then Thor the Dark World, I was just like, okay, you have this, like, galactic level threat. But only Thor is around, but none of the other Avengers are showing up. Which, to me, was a problem, considering, okay, this movie takes place literally a year after the Avengers. Where is everyone else trying to help prevent a galactic threat? <laughs> so to me that was poor writing Thor Ragnarok however it just focuses on Thor we get to finally see Hulk again after Civil War has ended and um, Jeff Goldblum I think it was really cool just so much happens and I really enjoyed it uh, number 8 Avengers Endgame I don't think I have to talk too much about this movie but it's just the epic finale basically to phase 3 and the time shenanigans that happen, I think, are really cool. And the final battle and the music for it, it's just like, you know, Captain America on your left. And I'm just like, it still hits the, it hits right here. Just love it. And I'm happy Iron Man died. <laughs> I don't like Iron Man as a character. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm a Captain America person all the way, baby. Uh, number nine, Spider-Man Far From Home. Basically, the whole movie is just a little icing on the cake of what happens after Avengers Endgame and we get to see everyone come back from being phased out for five years and you know I just I really enjoyed the movie and then lastly number 10 Doctor Strange something that I thought was really interesting compared to what else we've had in the Marvel Cinematic Universe you know a lot of the movies are lasers they're, they're punching each other spy espionage outer space adventures Doctor Strange kind of brings it back down to Earth, and then it kind of just, you know, hits you with some magical elements and multiverse um, propositions and time travel and whatnot. And um, it's a really cool twist and turns, and, uh, you know, we get to finally get to see the Time Stone for the first time in Doctor Strange. So those are my um, 10 best Marvel movies from phases 1 through 3. You guys are more than welcome to agree or disagree with me in the comment section down below. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next uh, video or stream and look forward to my review of all the movies for Phase 4 and 5 coming out here in the co next couple years. You guys have a great one. I'll see you guys in the next video.